In today's video, I'll show you how to amp up your watercolor style with these abstracted autumn floral bookmarks. Hello my friends, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell and on this channel we get creative together. It's a crisp autumn morning and today we are going to practice and expand our watercolor skills with these really sweet little bookmarks. But first, let me tell you about the sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by GlassesUSA.com. By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers prescription eyeglasses and sunglasses at up to 70% off retail. You can shop online from your home and the prices are super affordable. I started shopping for glasses online about five years ago. Before that, I was really hesitant to take the plunge into like purchasing glasses online without trying them on. But GlassesUSA.com offers a virtual try-on tool. I find glasses often look too big on me. So even if I love this style, using the virtual try-on tool allows me to see like, mm, those are a little too big for my face. That's really nice when you're shopping online. You can feel confident in your purchase. They also have a free prescription scanner app, so if you're feeling like, I don't know my prescription and I don't know where I keep it, you can actually use the free app to scan your glasses. It will tell you what your prescription is, takes less than 10 minutes, and then you can start shopping. And then that really just leaves you with the fun part of shopping for glasses. And GlassesUSA.com has over 9,000 styles. They have in-house brands like Amelia E and Muse. They have designer brands like Ray-Bans and Gucci and Armani and more. You can order eyeglasses and sunglasses, kids' glasses, safety glasses, all with your prescription. Let me just show you some of what I ordered. These are my new Ray-Bans, uh, which I love. I love a round glass. That's just sort of what I think suits my face. I've also been desperately hunting for a pair of red glasses for a while. Now these are a very dark red, but I actually like that a lot. They're like a sophisticated red. I also got a pair of tortoise shell round with a really pretty rose gold um, frame, which I like. So, yes. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> and I also picked up a pair of prescription sunglasses. Got me some sunnies for when I'm driving in the car. So yes, shop my glasses and sign up to get 65% off. Use the links in the video description and head over to glassesusa.com. Okay, let's paint some bookmarks together. These are gonna be a lot of fun to actually make. Here are the supplies that I'll be using. I have um, just a paper surface to paint on and then three ripped paper bookmarks, a hole punch, some twine, watercolor paints, two glasses of clean water with paper towel for blotting your brush, and of course, a paintbrush. I'm using a number four round. To begin today, let's do a practice bookmark together, a throwaway. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm practicing my brush work. So I'm using the round brush and you can see, I sort of drag the belly of the brush across the paper and that gives me those leaf shapes, maybe one or two brush strokes and that's the leaf. And I use the tip of that round brush to do the delicate stems and to add extra color into the wet area so I can play around with wet on wet. I can rework the shapes. I'm just allowing everything to be really loose and free. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself. With that round brush, you can do some very large leaf shapes. You can do some very small leaf shapes. So experiment and see what's comfortable for you and definitely experiment with wet into wet autumn is the perfect time to do that you can begin with a yellow leaf and then add a little orange into it or add a little brown I'm using the same brush now to do these really small delicate leaves I kind of just do one or two little flicks of the brush across the page and um, I you know these tiny little leaf shapes emerge. You know, I always say it's a leaf. If you call it a leaf, just leave it alone. Do one or two um, brush strokes and that's your leaf. And then join everything together with some tiny little stems and branches. Play around with your color mixing at this point, both on the palette and on the paper. 
and just have fun and let go. This one may turn out looking really cute or it may turn out looking like a hot mess. It doesn't matter. It's always nice to kind of warm up with a little bit of practice. That's going to just allow you to get comfortable with the feel of the brush in your hand. And from there, we can really set out to do some amazing artwork. For our first bookmark, we'll paint acorns and oak leaves, and then we're going to abstract them a little bit and make this really fun and loose watercolor look. So I'm beginning with two circles for the acorns using kind of a nice honey color. Uh, for the second, I've mixed in more water just to lighten the paint a little bit, but just two very imperfect circles. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of a darker brown. You can do these in any color. The color is not important. And we're going to kind of give each of them a little hat. So just a curving thick line across the top of each circle. While the paint is wet, I kind of rework the shape and it's okay if it blends a little. You could put some stems if you want. And then I'm using a really nice minty green to paint my oak leaves. But again, use any color. You could do yellow, you could do red. And I start with a stem and then I kind of do all these little ovals that are joined together along the length of the stem. So while that paint is wet, I'm moving the, the wet area around and I'm kind of just forming the shape of this leaf. It's very loose and free and I just want to work while the paint is wet so that I don't get any harsh dry lines. Um, and you can kind of see this very perfectly imperfect oak leaf emerging. We'll start again and I'm doing the stem and then I paint over it with all these little oval shapes and I kind of just work quickly. There's my basic form. I might work a little wet into wet by releasing some darker green into the wet area. And of course it's going to move out into that wet area and we get a wonderful organic blend of our pigment. You can also add a little bit of darker brown onto those acorns, but that in a nutshell, ha, ha is the acorns and oak leaves. Now we get to have the fun of abstracting. So here I'm taking a really watery green and I am just making like barely the shape of a leaf. I'm still following that same form where I kind of use a bunch of ovals to come together to make an oak leaf, but it's so light and it's so messy. And then I can play around even more with wet into wet, adding dark paint into my relatively light wet area. And I just want it to look messy. I want it to look weird. You could paint some very messy acorns if you want, but we're just hinting at the idea of leaves back there. And that is our super loose first bookmark. Let's move on and we're going to do the same thing over again so that you get the feeling of what I'm going for. For this one, I am working uh, with red clover as my subject. It's a beautiful fall flower. At least to me, it's signifies fall and I kind of start with a little blob and then I just move out and I do all these little curving lines to give the look of the clover that is made up of these teeny tiny thin thin petals so I'm just painting three you can do a cluster of however many you like and those are our main subject we can add a little bit of darker burgundy just to give them a little bit more drama, a little more depth there. You can do that while it's wet or you can wait for them to dry. And then I'm taking a really nice mossy green and we're just going to paint these leaves. And these are like one brush stroke leaves, just one flick of the brush across the paper. And then we'll add some very perfectly imperfect stems, a couple more leaves, one or two brush strokes, just pull the belly of the brush across the page. And this is our main subject. So th these are not abstracted at all. We have, you know, a nice little cluster of clover, but we want to abstract them. We want to make them I don't know, look a little messy, look like that beautiful watercolor look that can be so nice and so free. So now I'm coming back in with a really light green. I've added a lot of water to my paint and I have this wonderful watery paint and I'm just making these really messy leaves and stems. I'm going to do the same thing with the burgundy color. This is a mix of red and purple, this really pink burgundy, and I've mixed in tons of water and I make these messy clover-ish shapes. 
And then I grab some of the darker burgundy and I just release a little pigment into the wet area. Like it's super messy and free. And this really allows you to play with your watercolor paints, get to know the medium. You've painted a really pretty subject, but now you kind of want to mess up that subject. Um, and that creates a really free, very watercolor-esque backdrop. And it's just so much fun to paint like this. Um, and bookmarks are the perfect place to experiment because it's so tiny. And if you mess up, you can just move on to the next bookmark and it's not a big deal. For my final bookmark, we're going to paint some black-eyed Susans. That's what we call them in Canada. It's a kind of daisy with a sort of different color. And I am starting with the stamen. It's uh, just a little cluster of really dark brown dots to make the center of the flower. Then I'm grabbing some yellow ochre on my brush and it's just like painting leaves. You see me sort of pulling that brush towards my body, one or two pulls of the brush, and I've got a nice organic petal shape emerging. And uh, whether you're painting a flower in profile or sort of facing the viewer dead on, it's all the same, just one or two brush strokes should get you the shape of a petal and just leave it alone. Try not to overthink this too much. These flowers should look a little weird and a little wrong. So if one petal is really thin or really thick, that is good, that's okay. That's how you're going to keep it from looking like cartoony. Um, I'm going to paint a cluster of three black-eyed Susans and uh, then we're going to grab a nice dark mossy green just on the tip of our brush and using the tip of that round brush we will paint these very perfectly imperfect stems. So kind of just drag that brush with just the hint of pressure to get a very imperfect line for the stem. And then I'm doing some messy little leaves, but not too messy because just like the other bookmarks, once we've painted our subject, and in this case, the subject is three daisies, three black-eyed Susans, we are going to start abstracting. And here you see me doing that. I've grabbed a really, really light green and I am getting even messier and weirder with the leaves. And I'm not going to actually do any sort of must up abstracted flowers. I'm just going to do leaves in the background and it's going to give it that wonderful, watery, messy watercolor look. And there you have it. I am, I've had a lot of fun with these bookmarks. These were a good practice for me as well. I am someone who often wants to get things really perfect and playing around with abstracting these forms helps me let go of that and it helps me develop my style as a painter. So I hope you'll give this a try. And as I said, bookmarks are really great, um, very low stakes <laughs> sort of practice. Once everything is dry, you can always come back in and add just a little bit of darker pigment, you know, add a little darker yellow um, near the center of the flower, add a little bit of darker green behind those acorns, whatever you like. If it needs a little more contrast, a bit of wet on dry is the perfect, most precise way to do that. But that's it for me. My painting is done. All I need to do now is grab that hole punch. We'll punch a hole at the center of each bookmark, put some twine through there and they just look so pretty. They're great for gifts, but more importantly, they're great practice. And I really enjoyed spending this morning painting with you. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these somewhat abstracted watercolor floral autumn beginner friendly bookmarks. I had a lot of fun creating them and I really think that they actually help to kind of expand my own watercolor style. If you're interested in shopping for some glasses from the comfort of your home, use the links in the video description to shop my glasses and head to glassesusa.com. Sign up there to get 65% off. Thanks for watching guys.